647 on your Tuesday morning. It's time now for the morning rush. We are now hearing from an Albuquerque attorney who says he was tipped off about potentially corrupt APD officers. Attorney Damon Eli says he was contacted separately by a man and a woman about a possible scheme involving APD, centering on accusations that officers in the DWI unit were taking bribes to get cases dropped. Eli says he reported those stories to the FBI. Several Albuquerque teens, they are facing charges this morning, but none have been detained. That's with the county officials saying that there's not enough room to hold them. On Saturday, APD says the four teens stole a bait car then drove around the city while passing around a gun. Then on Sunday, police were uh, arrested, rather, a 17-year-old girl after they say that she pulled out a gun and fired shots at the IHOP near Coors and Ure. Four New Mexico law enforcement officers are now accused of circulating an explicit video of a co-worker. Three members of the Lee County Sheriff's Department and a jail police officer are all being charged with unauthorized distribution of sensitive images. Documents say the four sent nude video of the victim, who is also a Lee County deputy, to multiple people, including the sheriff. Erica. And here's a look at our school day forecast. Temperatures are chilly this morning in the low 30s, but will be mild by the afternoon. Highs in the mid 60s. A call for an independent investigation into the crash involving APD's chief has now been rejected by the Albuquerque City Council. That proposal from City Councilor Luis Sanchez would have asked an outside agency like State Police or BCSO also to investigate. That proposal failed on a 5-4 to four vote. The governor says she's still considering a special session focused on public safety. Yesterday, the governor signed four landmark bills, two of those focused on firearms, the first bill bans guns in polling places. The second bill creates a seven day waiting period after someone buys a gun before they can take it home. A DC Court of Appeals will hear arguments surrounding a potential nuclear waste facility in southeast New Mexico. In May of 2023, the Nuclear Regulatory Commission gave the approval to Holtec International to build an underground disposal site in Lee County. That plan sparked both support and criticism from state leaders. The court will, he will hear arguments from both sides and be left to make the final decision. Erica. Here's a check on the threat index. It is low today. We won't see any weather issues. Just a chilly morning with some light afternoon breezes. One nonprofit is hoping to make the transition of going from prison back into society a little less scary. Chef Fernando Ruiz is participating in the Entrepreneurial Institute of Northern New Mexico's reentry program. He'll be teaching men and women who are locked up the world of cooking. The classes start on April 1st. The city of Albuquerque is now planning to add more pickleball courts around the metro. At Pat Hurley Park, an $84,000 project funded by GEO Bonds has now converted some of the tennis courts into ones for pickleball. The city is also going to be building courts in Ventana Ranch and adding 15 more to Manzano Mesa. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that states cannot bar Donald Trump from running for another term, even though he is accused by some of insurrection. All nine justices agreed that states have no power under the Constitution with respect to federal offices, especially the presidency. Erica. And here's a look at the traffic maps. Those are clear, no accidents or slowdowns to report. Here's a live look over the big eye, and it's starting to slow down in the typical spot. Well, the Glendale, California Fire Department's newest member may stand on four legs, but it's not their mascot. Instead, Cooper, the Golden Doodle, helps first responders after they fight fires, respond to accidents, or make medical calls. The Wellness Canines Territory is the mental health and well-being for his fire department colleagues. And outside of that, also volunteers to for people that have uh, been through traumatic situation. And time now for the five facts. At number five, New Mexico skiers will have a little extra time to enjoy the slopes before the end of the season. After some late winter snowstorms, Pajarito announced they will be staying open an extra week, keeping the slopes open until March 31st. So far this season, the resort has received 110 inches of snow. At number four, the city of Albuquerque is planning to serve up more courts around town. That's to feed the growing pickleball craze. Now, the city first introduced the, the game to Manzano Mesa Park back in 2017. Today, those kind of courts are scattered all over the city. At Pat Hurley Park, an $84,000 project funded by Geo Bonds has now converted some of the tennis ball courts into pickleball ones. Now, the city also is going to be building some courts in Ventana Ranch and adding 15 more of them to Manzano Mesa. Those are scheduled to be done by spring. 
And number three, it's going to be a mild day. We just have to get through this chilly morning. Temperatures again right around 33 degrees will warm into the 40s by around 9 and the 60s this afternoon. At number two, Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham signed four landmark bills. Two of those focused on firearms. The first bill bans guns in polling places. Now the second bill then creates a seven day waiting period after someone buys a gun before they can take it home. The governor also signed two crime related bills. Now one will increase the penalties for attempted and second degree murder, while another automatically holds a repeat offender behind bars. It's if they commit another felony while awaiting trial. And number one, we're hearing from an Albuquerque attorney who says he was tipped off about potentially corrupt APD officers and took that information to the FBI. Attorney Damon Eli says he was contacted separately by a man and a woman who shared a similar story about a possible scheme involving APD. Eli says he can't give specifics on those stories, but that they were similar to details of the investigation News 13 first covered in January, centering on accusations that officers and the DWI unit we're taking bribes to get cases dropped. Eli says he reported those stories to the FBI. As the federal investigation into the department continues, six officers have been placed on leave and two have resigned. The Bernalillo County District Attorney was also forced to dismiss more than 200 DWI cases tied to the officers. At this time, none of the officers have been formally accused or charged.